Oh my gosh. Imagine if all of these were just orange and purple only. That would be my dream, obviously, for the suns. Okay, guys, redo. What? Okay. Take two. Action. Fine. What fell? No way. I wasn't even on take three. Okay, now it's take three. Take three. Oh my gosh, babe. The jacket won't fit. Yeah, obviously the jacket won't fit. You're sitting on a floor eating licorice. Wait, hold on. This is crazy. Look, mom, can we keep the foam pit here forever? Okay, It looks so fun. Wow, Bob the Builder, how long did that take to build? Guys, thankfully life. for all these foam cubes, me and Jackie, when we get married and move out, we don't even have to buy furniture. We could build a bed out of these, we could build couches, build chairs. House. Yeah, we could build the damn house. We don't even need to buy a house. <laughs> We could build the freaking house. This is so cool. But honestly, I don't know what the hell we are going to be doing with these. I tried it and I got stuck there for 15 minutes. Brandon didn't even notice. Because I was eating sushi. <laughs> Mom, any idea what we're going to do with these? Like, where are we going to keep them? Wait, call her. We can donate them to the places they can use them. Mom, why would we donate them when I'm going to build my future house out of these? I don't even need to pay mortgage anymore. No. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay guys, so this is all fun and games. This is all fun games and beauty. Aww. But the point of this video was not fun and games. The point of this video is very, very sad. Ooh, oil wipes. <laughs> it's sad, Brian. Don't you say we just go play a little in the phone pit? <laughs> I was just at the gym right now. Just playing some basketball and before I left the gym, I was just watching some snapchat stories and I came across Brian's uh, I'm upset <sighs> I'm in a bad mood. I saw Brian's snapchat story and he was on crutches <laughs> Wait, that's how you say it, right? Yeah, cr I thought it was crutches at first. Crutches? No, it's crutches. crutches. Crutches, like crotch, but crutches So Brian, in case you guys didn't see the video, he freaking did a backflip off I'm not even going to say where it was. A really, really high place. Uh, and he hurt his foot, okay? I don't know who the hell thought it was a smart idea to let him backflip off the I top. I thought I was safe with the foam tubes, <laughs> but like it just went straight through and hit the freaking floor. So I basically did a backflip onto this. Right here. It went straight through. Like my right foot was good. It hit the foam. My back, everything was good. It hit the foam except for this. went straight Boom, landed right on this. Yeah, and when Brian told me it hurt and that he was gonna go to the hospital, I thought they were gonna say like it's swollen and bruised and maybe give him some painkillers, but it turns out that it's actually sprained. Brian, is it your ankle or foot? Foot. Oh. And fun fact, I've never hurt <laughs> any part of my body in my life. Sad fact, life. not like, fun fact. Yeah. Sad fact. Like, I've never sprained, uh, broke anything from my body, so this was like a weird experience because I didn't know how I was supposed to feel, so. Damn, yeah, when I saw it, I, I quickly texted him. Said, is this a season-ending injury? And yeah. It's, luckily, it's not. Like, she's saying, the doctor said, like, three to four weeks. If the pain is still bad, then you have to come back, but it should be better. Yeah. So the first thing I texted him was, I was like, no surgery, right? Like, blah, blah. And then I said, is this season ending? Because I didn't know what it was. So it turns out, Brian is going to be out around one month. Three to four weeks. I say just, like, do for sure four weeks just in That's case. That's the most depressing part about this, that I can't play basketball. Yeah. If you guys watch my basketball videos, ever since... Ever since our first game, I was all excited about playing with Brian on my team. I made a whole... Wait, did I hit your hat? Everyone does. Trust me. Everybody. <laughs> I was so excited. Like, I made a video. Oh, Brian's finally on my team. Because last season, I didn't get to play with him. So freaking excited. Yeah. And, and no. you guys watch our videos. I always pass to Brian. He always passes to me. And... We're the Splash Bros. We were actually the top two leading scorers on our team. I was first, yeah. he was second. So we like, huh. we had a bond on the court. We had chemistry. We loved playing with each other. And 
it wasn't just fun. It was working. Our team is five and one, five wins and yeah. one loss. So not only was it fun, it could be fun and we were doing bad, but no, it was fun and we were playing good. And at one point we were both in the top five in scoring. That's just like, it ruined a lot. So this is actually not only sad news for Brian, obviously he's in pain and he can't play basketball. It's also sad news for me because I'm missing out on a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun playing with Brian. And it's also sad because Hello, like I said, he was our second leading scorer. So it's this is important to our team. We're gonna have to play the Extra hard. Yeah, the next three or four games. I know like two weeks we're playing uh, the number one seeded team, yeah. Uh, they're so good. Yeah. I don't even no, know. No, and, and tomorrow we're playing a team that's literally right below us in the standings. Like, tomorrow's a huge game. Are we the, at first or second right now? We're tied for the first. Top four big playoffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow's probably our biggest game of the season because the team is right below us. So if they win, then they take over our spot. So tomorrow's going to be crazy. Brian, I need to hire you as head coach. I'll be the coach. Will you? I'm coming to the game tomorrow for sure. Okay, I'll offer you a four, three to four week contract then. Okay. Okay, we'll so Brian. I'll come in with a freaking clipboard and everything with the Can you wear a fucking tuxedo and a tie? Imagine. <laughs> and you get thrown out of the game and the refs have to fucking take you out for a technical foul. I get ejected for fucking. Okay, guys. So, yeah, that's honestly the sad part. I was looking forward so much to playing with Brian this season and the first six weeks were so fun we had so much fun on the court and it was working it was like we found the perfect formula because last year my team Brian wait does it hurt to clip the nail Brian is that my nail clipper I don't know but my Brian I was looking for it for so long <laughs> uh, Brian that hit my face you bitch <laughs> So yeah guys, I'm very very upset with this news. It's a higher risk of us losing. It's a higher I'm gonna have to play much much harder. I'm gonna need to step up. I know you and Chris The whole team's gonna have to step up. Not just me, not just me and Chris. Everyone that plays on our team are gonna have to I step up. My coaching though, I think we're good. Yeah, Brian, are you gonna like fucking take people out if they don't listen to your plays and everything? Yeah, I'm gonna yell at them. I'm oh gonna like, no. <laughs> Imagine I think, Brian. I feel like they're gonna be mad at me though for doing the backflip. <laughs> Brian, the coach. Wait, are you sure you don't want to go play in the foam pit? Yeah, I'm <laughs> You want to go to the gym with me tomorrow morning to play basketball? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Let's go. So yeah, guys, I wanted to make this video. I'm sure all of you guys saw Brian's video, but I just wanted to update you more. Brian's video was more depressing. That was him in the hospital and just talking about his life and his career. This is more from the basketball team standpoint. I'm gonna let him talk about the personal stuff about this injury. I'll leave my video just about basketball. So no, it's not season ending. He'll be it's back not. for the playoffs the if we playoffs, make it. What, what counts the most. So exactly. This is Derrick Rose, the return. When Derrick Rose was in Chicago, he went through so many injuries and everybody thought his career was over and they kept saying Derrick Rose, the return. And he came back, maybe not stronger than ever, but he did come back. So Brian, the return, the countdown has begun. Three to four weeks. I say you take four weeks just in case. because yeah, or just to be safe, but like, yeah. I'm hoping like, ah. <laughs> I don't want this to be in pain for four weeks. That's all. No, you just have to like take a lot of like cocaine and meth and heroin and like your pain oh, would I'm go away. That. Don't worry. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> ah, no wonder you threw your fucking nail at my face. <laughs> I'm so sick too though. Like not only is it this, but like I'm actually sick. Why? Did you snort the cocaine? You didn't shoot it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, like it already got me sick. <laughs> come back for the playoffs because we have four more games left and then the playoffs start and most likely obviously fingers crossed but so far we're tied for number one so unless we have a really really bad choke knock on wood then we, we shouldn't we shouldn't miss the playoffs unless we choke really bad but honestly we should make the playoffs i was scared when i saw his snapchat i texted him right away first of all i was scared because i thought he was gonna need surgery guys now you see why i didn't go to the hospital for my wrist because I knew that they would tell me that it was hurt and I did not want to hear that because now what's gonna happen You can't play basketball. I didn't want to hear that news So I just dealt with it and I just fucking said, you know what? I'm not going to the hospital I don't want to hear the news that I can't play so I just dealt with the pain. I don't care But all I can do now is watch basketball. Yeah, all of Brian Brian take some tips from coaching So that's Steve Kerr right there. Yeah, and just actually you maybe you shouldn't take tips from Steve Kerr unless you want to get ejected Yeah, but <laughs> no, I'll just be a uh, Doc Rivers You'll be Doc Rivers, so you want to get ejected and go to fucking jail? <laughs> Just don't take tips from Earl Watson, you know, the Suns 18 wins and 41 losses So you might not want to take any tips from there. Okay guys, so we're gonna let Brian watch some basketball Learn 
you know, different aspects of the game. So he could be the best head coach in men's basketball league history. Wait, Brian, could you win coach of the year? I'll do, I'll do that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, guys, we have a game tomorrow. I feel bad for Brian. He was really excited to play. We were actually talking about it before he got injured because it is our most important game of the season. Yeah. Brian, hopefully you come back. Hopefully you guys win. Yeah, hopefully we win. Hopefully you're back for the playoffs. If we make the playoffs, this sucks. I'm sure it sucks for Brian, but it sucks for me too. I love playing with Brian. And, like, I'm sure you guys loved watching the videos of me and Brian on the court together. Yeah. So, this sucks. Brian. Don't get to any fights. <laughs> for real. <laughs> I'm serious. I'll take you out of the game. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm not allowed to get in fights or the coach will take me out? Yeah. Damn. Okay, guys. So, no more fights. It's going to be a challenge, but we could do it, Brian. We played one game without Brian and we won. So, hopefully, that's a sign of things to come. Brian, if we keep winning, I'm just going to kick you off the team. Hey. <laughs> Update. Hey. Sorry. <laughs> Tell them what just happened. You just farted. Boom. Okay, so Brian threw his toenail on my head and I farted on you. Now we're even. Okay. Anyways, Brian, I'm going to let you rest. Right. Let me know if you need like eyes or pills or head or just anything. Let me know. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Were you eavesdropping on our conversation? No, but you tooted. No, I did not yeah, toot. You tooted. He was joking. No, you didn't. <laughs> Ooh, we can have sex on this. What are your thoughts on Brian's regular season ending injury? Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? But um, my thoughts are, I think I should be the one in the game now. Oh yeah, you should sub for Brian. I know, like all the plays and stuff. Or maybe he'll hire you as an assistant coach, I don't know. No, I want to play the game. You want to play? Yeah, I want to go like this. <laughs> she learns from the best elbows. I'm just joking. That's dirty. Don't do that. This is a very very sad day I'm sure for my brother. He has never had a sprain. He's never had a broken bone. He's never had a torn ligament This is his first one. So I'm sure he's in a lot of pain not just physically But that sucks that he can't play any more basketball because I know it was a lot of fun for him And it was fun for me I love playing basketball with my brother if you guys watched the first basketball game vlog when it was mine and Brian's first game together I was so happy and I, and I always pass him the ball and just I always look for him on the court so this is gonna suck for me and also for Brian this is gonna hurt our team there's no way it could help anytime you lose your second leading score that's not a good thing if we start losing a lot I'm gonna take a lot of blame because I feel like Brian is my brother so for him being out I have to step up I have to make up for his loss and if I don't then no matter how bad everyone else plays I would still take the blame just because he's my brother so I feel like I need to make up for it. I just need to make sure that the team doesn't fall apart, okay? He's gonna be there in spirit though. He's gonna be our head coach. Oh, he didn't sign the contract. I just hired him to be the head coach. He needs to sign the contract. Babe, I'm gonna write Brian a contract. And you could be his agent. So am I allowed to scam your client? I'm gonna sign him for free. I'm not gonna pay him any money. I literally am the scammer. <laughs> wow, what a bad agent Jackie is. She's letting her client Brian get scammed. You act like the NBA does not bring games. Oh. Three to four a week coach for free. Oh my, God, Lord. my handwriting is good. Three to four week coach for free. And you have to sign here. Guys, I lied to Jackie when I... When I hurt my hand, she saw my handwriting and it was really bad. And I said, yeah, babe, it's just because my hand is hurt. But that was just an excuse, babe. I really have the worst handwriting ever. Brian, hopefully you're not jacking off because I'm coming in. I need you to sign the contract. For the coach? Yeah. Three to four week head coach. Don't read the line. How that's next. Is, how much is... No, he no, read the I line. Want, I want at least 10K. Brian, Jackie is your agent and she said I could sign you for free. Jackie. You could call her babe. Right. Babe. <laughs> <laughs> she said ew, but that's Fine. obviously if, a lie. If I sign this and, and if we make the playoffs, then I get an extended contract. Brian, the only way we don't make the playoffs is if we lose every single game. Okay, sign it. It comes with incentives. If we win every single game left and we finish 9-1, and one, then you get $1,000. Okay. And it's on camera, uh, really, really $1,000. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to lose the last game on purpose. <laughs> I'm just joking. I have too much heart for that. Lou will and one. Ah! Oh, I saw that. Okay, Brian, we got you on the contract. See you tomorrow night. What time do you want me to be dressed, Wait, coach? What time is the game? Eight. Oh. 
<laughs> you signed the contract, you can't miss it. Ooh, can I be Troy Bolton? For <laughs> I'll be Troy Bolton and you're the dad, my coach, oh, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's the song? Bet no, it's bet on it, bet on it, bet on. Like, yeah, and he's fucking crying he's and going so crazy. crazy. He's so fucking. What drugs was he on I when he's saying sure that? Coke. Oh yeah. Oh, and then you have Gabriella. Brian's the coach, the dad. I'm Troy Bolton. She's Gabriella. Bosley is a uh, Sharpay. But your faith it gives me strength. Okay, guys. If you don't fuck with High School Musical, I don't like you. I'm sorry. High School Musical is the greatest. Movie series of all time. If you don't fuck with High School Musical, please stop watching my videos. What are you laughing at? We're just talking about you. <laughs> don't you love High School Musical? Like, I would stay up all night thinking about it like shit. Like, like Troy Bolton and Gabriella need to get married. My favorite song is the uh, one where she's, I gotta go my own. It goes like this. I gotta go, but oh. Or Brian, how about you gotta get you, get your head in the game. You gotta get you, get you, get you head in the game. You gotta, get you. <laughs> Do you remember the one when Troy Bolton was on drugs and he was on all the hills singing, um. Bed on it. Oh yeah, bed on it, bed on it. Do Wait, you know that where's one? the other one that's. She's not a true fan. No, the one where they were dancing in the baseball. What time is this? Summer time. <laughs> oh yeah, we're breaking free. Soaring, flying. There's no a. <laughs> In heaven that we can reach. Oh, sorry, mom. My dad's asleep. I forgot. Brian, my dad's asleep. Damn, no more High School Musical duet. Okay, guys, I apologize for not bringing you guys a lit vlog. I apologize for not having a fun-filled, entertaining video today. I do apologize. I wasn't planning on making this video. Obviously, I wasn't planning on having Brian fucking backflip off of the damn roof. Did you and watch the video? Yes, Brian, I watched it right when you were editing it. I had to see it up close. So, Brian, apologize to them. I'm sorry, guys, for my stupid <laughs> no, you have to apologize because I was planning on making a really lit video today, possibly even pranking Brian. Who knows? But instead, what? What we had to do. You already got me back. I had to make this video. I know a lot of you guys care about our basketball team. Obviously, not only from the support that I get on all the videos, but to everybody who shows up at all the games. So I know you guys care about this a lot. And Brian's hospital visit touched up more on you know his life so i had to touch up on the basketball aspect of it i'm very sad brian i'm gonna miss playing with you on the court just one time since i'm not gonna be doing this during the game good shot thank you that's what i'm gonna miss the most so guys one last time sorry for making this video instead of a you know more fun filled entertaining one even though all my fucking videos are boring anyways none of them are fun filled but i hope you what are you laughing at i hope you guys still enjoyed this video i'm gonna miss playing with brian on the court and hopefully he's back for the playoffs. Wait, babe, before we close this video out, can you please try the mint ice cream for the vlog? <laughs> <laughs> can you? Mm -mm. Why? Where? Wasabi challenge. Shout out Alex Wasabi. <laughs> Wait, is that Alex Wasabi's dead corpse? Time, the first time I ate sushi, my mom told me that that was avocado. So I ate the whole thing, <laughs> spit it out, almost threw up. And I literally, because I freaked out, I pushed my sushi all the way to the next table. And what a lie. Yeah. Oh my and god. It and it hit the lady. Where, and it hit the lady. Sushi. You know how the tables are like literally right next to the table? Mom, she oh. lied again. <laughs> Pinocchio. I'll call her right now. Wait, you know what's sad? Pinocchio was made like to be known to have a huge nose, and my nose is bigger than him. Okay, first of all, <laughs> you deserve to eat that wasabi because even if it was avocado, why would you eat it on one bite? Because my mom said it's really good, so I tried it. Like I said, that's what I was doing before. I was just playing basketball at the gym, and in my head, I'm like, oh, if only Brian was here to play. I get in the car, scrolling through Snapchat stories, and boom, crushed. My heart was crushed. It hurt. It's sad to see Brian go. Oh, can I ask them something? Ask. If you guys, like, you guys know what Cheeto Puffs are, right? When you eat them, do they get stuck in your teeth? Brian, like, and then you yes. go like this, and you take out a monster fucking Oh my god, that's the most Cheetos. annoying part about this shit. Like, no, or it's goldfish. Good. Goldfish, Yeah, too. goldfish, no, there's another one. Uh, Hummus. I don't know, this one just pisses me off. It's like all at the top of my teeth now. <laughs> yeah, guys, and then you go like this, you scrape it off, and it's like fucking Mount Everest. <laughs> Look at Brian. Do a hopscotch session. Yeah. No, yeah, there's a part in hopscotch when you put both feet down. I can't do that. <laughs> I just clipped that. He threw a toenail at my face. <laughs> you deserve it for the ones that you gave me. And he farted on me. 
I didn't even toot it. You're gross. <laughs> we just toot it. <laughs> Guys, when Jackie says I deserve it, it's because one time I clipped my toenails and I saved the two biggest ones. <laughs> Wait, disclaimer. This no, might be a little no. gross. No, it's gross. But I clipped my toenails and I saved the two big toes. I threw away like the pinky and all those. And she came in and I told her I had a surprise for her. I said, turn around, close oh your eyes, so and put your hand out. I made her put her hand behind her back like this. <laughs> and I said, okay, don't open it. Put it in your mouth. And I, <laughs> and I put the toenails in her hand and I said, okay, look. And they were fucking toenails. Ew. I'm crying. Why is Brian out for four weeks? <laughs> I'm gonna sleep next to him today just to make up for it, honestly. Ooh. This is not the news I wanted to bring out to you guys. This is not the video I wanted to make. This is not what I was expecting. I played basketball tonight. We have our game tomorrow night, and I'm still playing tomorrow morning. Too much sauce. Too much basketball. What? What? Did you tell the video that I'm out with a sprained foot yet? Are you? Yeah. <laughs> did you repeat to do something like 50 oh. Oh, wait, did you forget to tell me about this? Oh, yeah, guys, in case you didn't hear, like, throughout this think, video. I don't think you mentioned it. I don't think I mentioned it because, like, oh, I don't. Ow. Like, I never repeat myself in my videos or anything. Oh, I never repeat I myself. Do all the time. No, I don't repeat myself. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this, but Brian is actually out for the next four weeks with a sprained foot, and he's going to be our coach. Next time I want money for coaching. Yeah, Brian, fire her. What kind of agent? No, I'm actually gonna come in with a clipboard and everything. <laughs> I don't care if you don't come with a clipboard. As long as you come with a suit and tie and you're on the crutch, that's <laughs> all I need. And my hair has to be like. Yeah, your hair has to be slick and you have to fucking stand like this and fucking. On the court, on the court, on the yeah. It's crazy to have such a good like mop. Look, look. Oh, are you going to be yelling at the refs? Yeah, Brian. Like Jeff Portis said. All the times that he yells at me. You have to get ejected at least once. You have to yell at the refs and you have to yell at the team. And, like, you have to drag me to the bench and say, What the fuck are you doing out there? Bro. That's what I want from you if you're going to be the coach. Sometimes you take some dumb shots. I'm going to have to smack you for that. <laughs> Imagine you get thrown out and ejected because you hit one of the players. Me. He fucking hits me on the... No, I hit the ref. Go to the gym, play basketball for three hours, come home, go to sleep. Wake up, go straight back to the gym, play basketball for another couple hours, come back home, get ready, and go to the game and play that at night on the same day. Because that's what I'm yeah. doing. I don't know. I mean, you have more energy than me. And, like, you, <laughs> but don't you're you at think... least better at basketball than me. So, so at what age do you think my body's just going to shut down and, like, deactivate? 26. Oh, that's supposed to be my prime. But, no, he's right. At the rate that I go to a basketball court, just went and played for three hours, just got back home, and then tomorrow, first thing I do when I wake up is go back to the gym to play more basketball, and then I'm going to come home, change, get ready, and go to my game. So, tomorrow... It's time to get this win. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys all, bro. Wall squad. The road to 2 mil is real. Thank you guys for watching. And like I said before, this is not the video I planned on doing. So I'm going to have a banger tomorrow. Or actually, tomorrow is going to be the basketball game. Just sorry. I just had to update you guys on my brother's injury. And I had to update you guys on what it means for our basketball team. So Alvin, Romson, Rob, Chris, and Gilbert... You guys watching this, we're all going to have to step up, okay? We all need to step up and make up for my brother's loss. Thank you guys for watching this video. Oh my God, Chris Webber's fade is so nice. Brian, his haircut is so nice. Look at him, look. Wait, Chris Webber's fade is so nice. That's a high fade, skin fade. Oh, I don't know about right there. A little ratchet. Oh my God, I'm so happy it's not career ending.